I just want to weigh in on the whole uh, air spray versus firearm debate. The reason I'm thinking about this today though is because I forgot the bear spray in my truck and sometimes I carry a 22, but I, don't, I didn't bring that either. This is a pretty well used path. It's not like it's, you know, somewhere far, far away from roads or campgrounds or something, which I don't know, maybe that means that that attracts bears being close to a campground. Anyway, my point to this ramble is I think I'm gonna carry both, but I'm gonna replace my 22 with a nine millimeter um, because I think where I live in Oregon, the two large predators are black bears and cougars. I've seen a cougar before. I was in a truck, so, you know, we were completely safe. And it, to be honest, it was an awesome experience. But anyway, why not just carry both? Reason being, if you see a bear, you can pull out the bear spray and try to deter it. But if worse comes to worse, and you have to try and defend yourself, and the bear spray doesn't work, or maybe the bear spray fails, or the bear spray, you know, whatever, you can't get it off in time. If you're on the ground and there's a bear attacking you, I think you'd want to have the option of at least trying to get to your firearm and trying to put some rounds in that bear. I know I would. I know some places um, you're legally bound on what you can carry. So I'm all for lightweight. I'm all for minimalist because it makes the trip easier. There's also a nice mental aspect of it, having everything you need and nothing you don't. I really like that, but I also really like being prepared. Um, I know a lot of people who do through hikes and are serious about it. They scrutinize every single ounce to the point where they don't even carry a knife, or they don't even carry a first aid kit. And yes, I almost tripped. This is a very uneven trail. So, let me give you a view of where I am. I'm still just sitting here watching for fish. Look at that little trail that meanders over there. I'm going to make it at least to that rock. Maybe I'll continue around and get a shot of the falls. Part of the reason I'm talking to my phone right now is so I make noise. Oh, there are some red huckleberries, I think. I don't know them well enough to, you know, pop a handful in my mouth. I'm not Greg Evans. I think I'm gonna get a nine mil, I'm gonna get a chest pack, chest rig, and bear spray and just mount it right here. Um, and then working on lightening up my pack too. This trip was pretty helpful in helping me determine what to bring and what not to bring. I'm bringing stuff I don't need, but I'm also alone, so I tend to go a little bit over prepared than under prepared. Like I'm carrying a full first aid kit, electrolytes, more water than I need, more food than I need, a tarp. Anyway, yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Somebody who has more experience than me, because I just love being outdoors and I want to do it the right way. I want to do it the safe way. I want to do it the responsible way. So anyway, I appreciate you listening. I'm going to make my way back to my truck. Hopefully I can find a little stream to throw a fly in on the way out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.